we ended the previous video with a few questions. Let me recall them for you. How do we calculate the mass of a single atom? Is it practically possible to do so? Is there any weighing balance designed to weigh the mass of a single atom? Let us now find out the answers to these questions. Imagine we have two objects A and B. Object A weighs around 12 kilograms is what we know. But we do not know the weight of object B and that's what we need to find. How do we find that out? We just have a weighing balance with us. Let's put them on either side of the balance and see what happens. Clearly, object A is heavier. Now if we want to find the weight of B, we will need something smaller to compare it to. So let's say we cut object A into 6 equal pieces. And now we compare the weight of object B with one piece. We see that this piece is still heavier than the object B. This probably tells us that we need a smaller piece for comparison. So let's assume we cut object A into 12 equal pieces, which means each piece weighs 1 kilogram. And now when we place them on either side of the balance, we see that it's an equilibrium. Now can we tell the weight of the object B? Yes, each piece of object A here is 1 kilogram. And hence we can say that object B also weighs 1 kilogram. Let me ask you something now. Can we say that the mass of object B is 1 12th that of object A? That's correct. This is exactly how we estimate the atomic mass of an atom. Since we cannot directly calculate the mass of an atom, we usually calculate it with respect to the mass of a carbon atom. We take carbon-12 as our standard. Wait, what is carbon-12? What does it mean? The element carbon has many isotopes and the carbon-12 is one among them. And do we know what isotopes are? Well, for now, we need to understand that they are different forms of the same element. So in the case of carbon, we will have slight differences in the atoms, which is what makes them isotopes. So carbon-12 is one such isotope which is found almost everywhere in nature. Thus, an atom of carbon-12 is considered to be a standard unit and atomic mass is thus calculated with respect to one atomic unit. And how do we define one atomic unit? One atomic mass unit is defined as the mass unit exactly equal to one twelfth of the mass of a carbon-12 atom. So let us assume this is one atom of carbon-12. We divide this in 12 exact equal pieces. We take one piece from this out of the complete unit. Can we say the mass of this single piece is one atomic mass unit? Absolutely. And this is used as a standard to calculate the atomic mass of any other atom. Some examples of this would include the atomic mass unit of hydrogen being 1, carbon being 12, nitrogen being 14, oxygen being 16 and so on. How do we understand this in a simple way? Let me ask you a question. How do you measure the mass of a person? Using kilograms, right? We say that this person's mass is 50 kilograms. Similarly, we say that the atomic mass of oxygen is 16 atomic mass units or 16 AMU. This is how we measure the atomic mass of any atom. The units used are atomic mass units. But do we know what exactly gives the atom its mass? I mean, what exactly is responsible for giving the tiny atom some amount of weight? Let us know more about the concept of atomic mass in the next video.